What's going on guys, my name is Yellow S2K and welcome to some Monster Energy Supercross, the official video game 2 gameplay. We are going to be checking out cornering very, very specifically here. I think this will make people understand what the game is all about and how fun it can really be. There's a lot to Supercross, but let's be honest, when you're racing dirt bikes, if you mess up the cornering and the cornering is not good in the video game, it's just not going to be a very good game. The cornering is the most important thing and that is one thing that Monster Energy Supercross, the official video game 2 <laughs> long title but it does so well keep an eye on the tachometer and what gear i'm in bottom right you can really see what i'm doing i'm lifting off the throttle to regain traction and in some cases i'm actually shifting up a gear to gain traction again but just keep an eye on the rear end if i'm using my rear brake because they're separated a lot of different ways to hit corners up high cut down low same thing here up high cut down low trying to avoid wheel spin on the exit and keep it nice and tight through that one Again, I hit these same section of corners in many different ways, and I found it pretty interesting. A um, little help from Tomac there, but keeping it nice and tight on the inside there. Really, really tight line. Hit more of the meat of the corner, but again, look at that tachometer. Really trying to control the rear. Watch this. Back in slides out, and then I flick it the other way, shift down to second, and kind of slide it out the other direction. So much fun. If you don't find that fun, then I don't... I don't know why you're riding dirt bikes. <laughs> if you're into dirt bike racing and whatnot, then uh, that's one of the best right there. Again, controlling that rear end everywhere. You can have it slide out as much as you want, or you can keep it nice and tidy. I think this, uh, out of the demo that we played, this whole section was really the most fun that I had with the game, and it made me understand what the game's gonna be like. And again, this is all in progress. So keep, keep in mind, this will probably change for the best even. Um, and get even better than what this looks like here. So um, let's dive through a section here. This is a different way to hit a corner. I'm trying to get by the guy in front of me, and there's not that many options. So right here, I realize outside's not going to work with momentum, but I'm going to square him up. So rear brake, slide, and then really just get on the gas, but avoid wheel spin. Again, back brake, roll on the throttle. Notice I'm not pinning it because I'm trying to keep traction through the corner. Shift up to third once I did redline it, again, to just control the rear end. And that is what is so fun about this game. It is so much fun to really focus on a bunch of things all at once. If you do separation of your brakes, then you're really trying to use that rear brake to stabilize the rear end. And it does work just like it would in real life. Get on that rear brake a little bit and it'll kind of stabilize you into a, a straighter line. Or you can use it to obviously slide into the corner like we did before. Those bull corners are a ton of fun to just slide into with that rear brake. Also focusing on throttle control because it is slick out there. Like you really do have to roll on the throttle. And uh, if, if all else fails, shift up a gear and gain that traction. But you can see it can go wrong pretty easily. And uh, either way, it's always fun and it is rewarding because it's not easy to hit it right every time. So anyway, guys, hopefully that gives you a better idea what the cornering is like in this game. I'm excited for it. Hopefully you guys are too. And until next time, I will talk to you later. Peace out.